some third graders in the area get the chance to redesign the school lunch. For weeks, they've been studying and planned the menu, and then came time for the official taste test. Local 12's Josh Knight was there and got to judge some of the food himself. Very good. Third graders at Vermont Primary School in Wyoming are taking their school lunch menu to a new level. So, this is a disco dumpling with honey sauce. Adam Beard has taught with Wyoming City Schools for 10 years. He's one of the teachers behind the project. The kids looked at all the different lunch menu items, all the different things they could choose for lunch, and they decided, hey, we can make these better. We can find ways to either make it healthier, we can find a way to make it taste better, or we could find a way to make it a little more kid-friendly. And Beard explains the healthy portion of this was the key. Can be all Oreo <laughs> cookies. You got, you got a fat content requirement. You have uh, calorie requirements. And so they had to work within some pretty strict confines to come up with these different menu items. Caitlin Steininger is a local celebrity chef from Cooking with Caitlin. She helped the students come up with ways to make the food taste good. She said they were really enthusiastic. And I would say, well, you could substitute oil for mashed bananas or things like that. And then sometimes I would, like, I threw out the word quinoa, and the crowd went wild. And, <laughs> but it was fun because they're genuinely, they don't know, and they're interested and want to know. Some of the meals included turkey instead of beef, oatmeal pancakes, eggplant, and even zucchini and couscous. While it might come as a shock, these third graders really liked these ingredients. Ava Yunker is one of those third graders, and she says kids need to try things before they say they don't like them. It looks good, and I like squash. It's healthier, and it has more vitamins and minerals. Teachers say the project had kids problem solving, using math, science, writing, and technology, but still having fun. They love it. Uh, in the past, you know, you. you Sometimes you would open a health book and you would read about protein or you'd read about food, and now they're creating food. And, and when you give a kid a chance to create rather than just learn from a book, it's, it's amazing what, what you get. Now that all the hard work is over and the taste testing is finished, everybody will fill out little ballots like this, and if any of these recipes are lucky enough, they could end up on the school cafeteria menu. In Wyoming, Josh Knight, Local 12 News. I'm just impressed they got that many kids to eat vegetables like that. Squash. <laughs> got to figure out what they're doing. <laughs> Students say they had a lot of help with the cooking portion of the project from their parents, and at least some of them now say they are more excited to help with dinner at homes.